welcome everyone to the Soul Station here with the Spiritual V. Um, we are going to jump right on into our subject matter. And the subject matter for this session two, lesson one, is hate. So as we go into the subject, I just want you to know these are introductory. That's what I'm going to label it as introductory scriptures. Okay, because we're going to use the Bible as our main manual. Okay, um, it's an incredible book. You know, and it's one worthy of study. So we're going to start these introductory scriptures, okay, that are going to prepare you for next lessons, okay, for the next session lessons, okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with Proverbs 26, verses 24 through 26. You can have a Bible, you may not, but you may want to jot them down and, um, study this stuff on your own time we are on the subject of hate now you know we started with love the beginning um of the sessions okay and um now we kind of shifting to hate okay and we're not really done with love that's just me introducing the subject matter okay so proverbs 26 24 through 26 says he that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Okay, so this is dealing with a type of attitude, right? A kind of thinking um, when it comes to hate. This is what hate does the bible said it dissembles it breaks things up right right that's the thing you know and people we know use hate for that very reason so we're going to shift on over to the gill order which is god is love right we talked about that in the first session and we're going to amos the book of amos 5 and that's in the old testament amos 5 verses 14 and 15 okay Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as you have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good. And it goes on to talk about something else, but I think it's just good enough to start there. Hate the evil and love the good. Now we're going to switch back to Proverbs 6, okay? And that's still in the Old Testament, Proverbs 6. And maybe we'll have a, a study session where I can give you a way that we learn the books of the Bible. Um, it'll help you so you can comb through the book more swiftly, if that's your interest, okay? So Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Again, you may want to write these down and study these later. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. Again, dissembling in the end, right? Six things they said he hates. The sages said he hates, but seven. You got all seven of them. You just live, you just an abomination according to the Bible. Let's go to Leviticus 19. We're still talking about the gill order, okay? God is love. Leviticus 19. Okay, and we're gonna do verses 17 and 18. The gill order. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Okay. So we're dealing with close relationships, things that we consider bonds, right? Things that we really can't help who our brother and sister is, right? But you get them in an order, according to the Bible, 
to love your brother in your heart. And then it says, and don't rebuke your neighbor. Don't try to correct your neighbor. They're doing hateful things. That's not your job. And I think many of us have had that experience where we didn't have the best neighbor, you know, and you may respond in a way to correct it. But again, that's not your position as a Bible believer, okay? I'm going to say as a Bible believer. Because God is the avenger, right? right? Let's go to Proverbs 8 and 13. And we're going to close out on Gil order for now because it's, 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 it's a lot of scriptures, believe it or not, about hate. But see, we're just trying to discover this thing called hate. Why do people say we shouldn't hate? Why shouldn't we hate? Do you even know what it means? Okay. 8 and 13 says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. Mm. And the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. We're talking about God, the most high, the one up in heaven. They want everybody looking to. But, but we're being told we should not hate. That hate is wrong. That it's then why does it exist? Right? Because I believe in polarities. There can be no love if there is no hate. Because the two help you understand the other, right? And then it said, what got me, because we know the meaning of pride, arrogancy. Arrogancy is somebody who thinks, I know it all. They, they, got, they got all the answers. They, they know everything. No room for discovery. And the evil way, well, we just talked about the seven abominations, okay? But then it says, the forward mouth, do I hate? I think a lot of us feel like, Somebody that's a contradiction or a hypocrite is a big problem for people. And that's somebody that says one thing and do another, a forward mouth. They're just a contradiction. Nothing never adds up. So how would heaven even know what to do with you? You know what I'm saying? So let's switch on over to the Lou order. And these are all coming this week from uh, the New Testament. We're going to 1 John. And because we discovered 1 John in the other sessions, this way in the back. You know what I'm saying? You got St. John. Okay, but then you have the Epistables of John. Now, with the Epistables of John, um, I believe, uh, you know, Jesus was already gone. Okay, so he's he's a disciple, right about other disciples, I believe. So we got 1 John 2, 9 through 11. We are speaking about hate. And we are speaking of the loot order, the love of us. Remember that? L-O-U. He that said that he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even unto now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in the darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Where's that, what is that darkness? There go that hate right there. It's in that darkness, right? Now let's go to 1 John 3, 15. Just flip right on to the next chapter. And we're going to St. I'm sorry, 1st Epistle of John 3, 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. You know what this reminded me of? Cain and Abel. You know, and we're going to be dabbling with that too, okay? Because there's some, some mysteries behind that. But whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. I, 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 can, I can identify with this description because when you hate something, you think about how to get rid of it. Mm. It doesn't always have to be, you know, there's different ways to murder a person. You can break their heart. You know, people say they have their heart has been so broken, like it's unrepairable. They just feel like, like, like bang, bang, that you just shot me dead. I'm just, you, I, feel, I don't even feel alive anymore. Because to me, that's what hate does. It steals your life. As it, it just so eloquently was put in the other scripture. 
And you don't have no life in you when you're full of this feeling. Okay? So let's go to chapter 4. It's the next one. And go to verse 20. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God? whom he has not seen. And everything is going back to that core scripture of those seven abominations and also to Proverbs 26, 24 through 26. For this session, I am asking you to take a moment. Take a moment. Take some study time. Get your paper and pencil. Get your Bible. Get your highlighter and begin to brainstorm this particular subject. This word hate. It's all about defining it for yourself so you can live a more elevated life. What is hate to you? Write that word down in the center of some paper and just brainstorm the depth what you think it words. Just come up with words. And then out of those words, we're going to try to define what it is, which will be uh, coming up in our next session. So there will be no board activity this week, and I'm going to leave it here. And I want to thank you so much for tuning into the Soul Station here with the Spiritual B for a spiritual perspective. I hope to see you for the next one. Until then, let truth be your happiness and your healing. going on Beatles welcome to the soul station here with the spiritual B this is the spirit vibes portion of the soul station okay hope you had a chance to check out the lesson hope you enjoyed it leave me some comments let me know what you think about it and be sure to attend next week because we can really get a little bit more deeper okay that was just a little introduction okay um so with that being said I hope you had a chance to uh, support the station by thumbing it up and if you haven't done it you can do it now Right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this bronze status read. Uh, don't try to make anything fit, just a quick you know, don't lie and deny the facts if it resonates with you. You know what I'm saying? Go with it and just let the stuff settle. Don't try to make stuff happen, just keep living because it's gonna happen anyway. And the universe is very surprising, okay? So happens when it's least expected you know what i'm saying you have saturn in your external energy in the wands okay and then you have ooh, externally the crazy eights wow you got everything going for you this month externally so saturn is kind of fiery at you uh just maybe dealing with discipline like getting in somebody's ass uh or you know getting to task, you know, getting things done, um, mastering. This is about mastering whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know if it's if you've taken a class or you're already in a career path or whatever it is. You're mastering it. You, 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 you got to put in those 10,000 hours. That's what I'm getting. You got to put in those 10,000 hours to mastery, to get that outcome that you're looking for. Because Saturn, to me, is like, it's like the, the symbol or the image of the Father of Heaven. And it's only after you've done the work you get the reward. It's only after you say have these meetings and say, okay, well, they've done the work. It's now time for the reward. That's why he sits so close to Jupiter, okay, and Uranus. Because Uranus can bring surprising good news and surprising bad news. But I love Uranus because it's, it's always something that you can transform, okay? And it kind of has that feel, you know. Because um, for some of you, this is dealing with creativity. Some of you, oh, guess what? Some of you, uh, this, is, this is dealing with sexuality. This is disciplining you sexually. You know, which which is a good thing because 
especially in this world today and some of the stuff I'm learning right now in my studies, that's a good thing, okay? Because people have sex with everybody and people are not recognizing how divine sex is. Maybe that's God talking to you about that, the divinity of sexuality, you know, why it's important to treat it a certain kind of way. Why it's important to see it as divine, especially when it's changing those energies. You know, that's why I just tell people all the time, you want to know why a woman is acting so crazy and ready to, you know, on the phone talking crazy and doing crazy shit? You don't screw her. You don't put your energy in her. And she don't caught these feelings. And now you ain't showing up. You ain't doing this. You but you calling her crazy. Saturn in your house telling you, it's time to grow up. It's time to grow up. It's a Saturn deals with maturation, growing you up, maturing you, perfecting you. Okay? So, take it as it comes. All of that could apply to you. Some of it could not. Um, but I'm also hearing it's got a lot to do with the home. Because when I see Saturn with Venus, to me, it, to me, it's a deep it's, 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 it's spiritual and it's religious, if that makes sense. Because there are agreements. That's the religious part. We establish the agreements. How we gonna, how we gonna, um, how we gonna live our relationship, you know. I duty one to another, whatever relationship it is, whatever kind it is. There's, when it's a relationship, there's a duty to each other, right? So, um, and that's where you're able to express your love and get the best out of the relationship, and, but at the same time, getting something done, creating something, okay? So, whoever this, because this is dealing with a partnership, and it has, and, and, a, you have to understand an agreement is like having sex. Sex is an agreement. That's why when they say, when a person tells you, no, I don't want to have sex with you, you need to respect it. They're not agreeing to you. You understand what I'm saying? I, that's all in your house. And I, that's going from, from feminine to masculine. I don't care. That's what you're dealing with internally. And within the home, or maybe within the workspace, maybe within your community, maybe within the family. Externally, which could be in, you know, in your environment, in your neighborhood, okay? Anything outside yourself. You are aligned, you are aligned with the crazy eights, okay? You are aligned with the crazy eights. It's that, that a lot of personalities here, a lot of in, external energies coming from all over the place. It's crazy. Just a, it's just life, basically. You may feel a little different. Maybe I don't know if it's different because of some changes, like for the better or for the worse. I don't know if it's easy. I don't know if it's hostile, but it's crazy. It's like this crazy, you know. It's like a flip, you know, some kind of way. But we're gonna find out how you're gonna be moving emotionally this month, exter internally and externally, respectively. Internally, you're gonna be moving in the moon in Aquarius, and externally, you're gonna be moving like a wolf. <laughs> okay, the time is ripe for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings, and other social opportunities, okay? I don't know. Maybe that's where, you know, being in these groups, maybe that's where you'll meet a mate. Who knows? But there's sex here. Or you may meet somebody. You may have to question yourself, you know. But this is kind of a time for letting loose. Maybe um, you will be celebrating. Because like I said, was it you or the last one? Somebody's. I think that was Kevin. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely this, 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 but I, I, I feel like in these groups and these parties, 
how you handle yourself in the excitement or even in the heat. Because, you know, when people get together, sometimes they get a little heated. You know, I don't know what kind of gatherings they are. Saturn is about class. Okay? Class. Um, you could go to the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like, yesterday, we celebrated a birthday. And the person, the server was terrible, you know? And, you know... People want to, you know, get in the ass and be a certain way. And I was just like, no, I'm not at that place no more. It's several ways to skin a cat. I don't have to put my foot down because you're giving me bad service. You're making me feel like you don't want me. That's fine. You just won't get a tip because, see, what you don't know, we tips. So you, when, you, when you saw that you didn't get no tip and we still handled you with class, we didn't put you down. I didn't judge you. You just who you are because I'm learning not to take it personal. Saturn. It's time for maturation. It's time to grow up. It's kind of like learning to be your age. It's just like being your age at the time to be, be mature. You know what I'm saying? You know, like when a person turned, when a person turned 13, they at 13, they think they there. You know, when they turn 18, they're like, oh, you're not 18 now. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you have to be at that place. It's not robbing you of your youth or any of that. What it's saying is you have to start acting and thinking more maturely now. Your responses and reactions cannot be the same. And see, I know I'm talking truth because you got that wolf here. And sometimes your instincts, you know what I'm saying? The wolf don't play. And he's spot on. Watch. You know exactly what he want to go get. You know what I'm saying? So... With all of these energies coming at you one way or another, you don't know, you may feel pushed, you know, you may um, see things that you want, because you know a wolf goes after what it wants. It, it sees it and you may have to rear that in. Saturn is here. You're getting tested. It's like they're giving you tests, lessons. It's going to be coming at you September. September is that month for for like the like those hard lessons, the harsh lessons, September can be that month. Okay, it's kind of like the mother of heaven. It, you know, it's time for me to kind of school you. You know what I'm saying? When you think you reached a level, and she said, "No, nah, I'm gonna let your daddy talk to you." You know what I'm saying? That goes that goes Saturn. <laughs> and some of y'all who don't have fathers, you know what that's like. Okay. Like, that is not the man I want to be talking to. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on in these energies. We're on a bronze status. So we're going to pull four cards, and we're going to do the best we can. If you would like a more full uh, report or forecast, just be sure to participate, okay? We have Delequa, Six of Pentacles this month. It's, these are the major energies for the month, okay? We will be having a follow-up. Coming out of the uh, tower energy. You have the Ace of Wands here. And you have the Hermit. Okay. And we have, oh, so again, we have judgment here. What, did we talk about making the right judgments? Making mature judgments. See, this is this is this is this is making a conscious, clear judgment or recognizing something, recognizing like the goodness of the Lord, you know. This is uplifting energy. This is feeling safe and saved. Saved by grace. Saved by grace. You know, it kind of puts me in the mind when we talk about sexuality here. You done had sex and you find out later on somebody got HIV. And you had sex with them. Right? And then you go get tested. It's negative. But you're still not out of the ballpark, right? You still got, what, another six months to go? And I know you're praying through that time. I know you're thinking better. See, God, he'll put you in a scale. See, this is a scale. So that you can start thinking more healthy and more better. Because, that, see, that ain't for you. See, you can't do what everybody else can do. If you're being disciplined, you are set apart. Everybody ain't called to be set apart. I know you're going to feel like David. 
look like the whole world. They get to do what they want to do, but I'm stuck in a cage suffering. Because you was called. You set apart. Okay? And you have to think about that. And I definitely see you going after what you want, making money, okay? Being, you know, you, you're you really in a, in a high vibration, though, this month. And in spite of what I'm speaking about, you know, you putting in, I keep getting that 10,000 hours. It's like you are about your shit this month, okay? But for some of you, it's, it's come, for some of you, you're going to remember something, like somebody owes you. And it's like it's just going to hit you like, damn, I forgot what's the name. Oh, I don't know if it's coming at the right time. But good judgment comes in surprise. Even underneath there, you got a fulfilled wish. Something's granted. Something's granted. Something's approved today. Either you or someone else. Yes. For some of you, this is sexually related. Friends, friends with benefits, you know. They exchange no robbery here. But so a decision for some of you is going to be made on your behalf regarding some money, maybe even a contract that you really like. You're ready to go full force on this. I don't know if it's because De La Croix can be like, he's. it's a decision maker, somebody who can help you make money, get money, they could pay you, but the thing about De La Croix, De La Croix won't his. One thing I can respect about De La Croix, it, 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 you know, it's like going to Kroger. You get your goods, you pay at the counter, okay? I gave you yours, you give me mine, okay? You you did this, I De La Croix will pack. De La, De La Croix will pack. You see what I'm saying? He would do. Now, if he's in a nasty energy, and condescending or being narcissistic, it, it could be different. Because it could, there are times he can, you know, can be in his ego and very controlling, but I don't really feel that energy. And I keep hearing getting recollection, recollect, you get some, rec you, you, you're reminded of something and it changes things completely. It's, and it's, and it's exciting. It's, it's, I'm also hearing one up. I don't know if somebody's going to give you a one-up. Yes, I do see some of you are weighing a payment, weighing whether or not you're going to use a card or if something's on the card. And I'm also hearing some of the opinion about a card. I don't know what kind of card it is, a credit card, a bank card, an EBT card. I don't know. But something's being weighed, a decision is being made. Maybe you applied for something and you and it comes by surprise. And that could very well be because it comes from something you didn't expect to happen. And it could be, you know, work-related, you know. This month for September. But the thumbs is up. You can the okay, or you're giving the okay. Like I said, this change is shit. This is major change. This is a big change. This is a big, this is a big dick. This is a big dick. Okay? It's, this is a major change. I don't know what they like quiet here sometimes. Maybe he is a big dick, like his attitude. <laughs> Cause you know, they like quiet like to be in control. You know, he like controlling shit, like to be in He's in charge. He's in charge. And he is in charge. You know, that is the truth. He is in charge, but I like him in this energy because it's fair. Okay. And I see there was some, it was these crazy, it was bringing some kind of change. I don't know if it was for the good, but it looked like yours is more for the good, even though it may have come out of something bad. 
like something shocking, like you did, you did not expect this, whatever it is, that's now being uh, agreed upon, okay, okay, it's like, yes, okay, we cool, we cool, we cool, I see in the outcome though, you're taking in a lot of information, maybe even doing some research, I'm here with somebody looking out for you. Could be an elder. I don't know why I'm hearing grandpa. I'm also getting that some of you are going to be looking up like rules and regulations and laws and policies and looking at um you know digging up information and whatever this is that you you get you gathering information you like whatever it this could be coming out of this um shock here this realization It's, I'm hearing research, you're looking up stuff, you're digging up information, taking a close look, maybe even studying this. This is a teacher, elder, or somebody's grandpa shedding some light on some information. You may even be paying for this information. Because now you see, now you see where to invest your money, who to invest in, or who to partner with. Gonna be waiting on you, whoever it is that waiting on you. I heard they're the star. I don't know if they an actual star, like a celebrity, or it's. For me, it could be symbolic for who you are aligned with. Like the star, like your 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 the the thing you should follow. We're talking about knowledge. We're talking about wisdom. Okay, this is earned knowledge and wisdom. This is somebody that has taken time, years, not just a day, a lot of time to themselves, to know themselves. This person did not take education for granted. I keep telling you. You can't go to school institutions for education. That's just learning. That's academic. Let's just stop calling it education. Education is personal. You have to do the work yourself. That's the hermit. Doing the work himself. Gain that knowledge and wisdom and experience to be able to teach and instruct and to guide and direct. This is authority. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm also hearing watched out for and watched over. So this could be uh for some of you, uh, because you got different energies coming through. Like I said, you only got four cards, but this could be like a elder. I said I keep saying an elder, like a preacher, you know, somebody you go to for advice, get wisdom. Let's sum it up for the month up. Mm, X-ray. Yeah, I told you. I am no fabrication. I keep telling you that. You look at you digging up some information, some some stuff that you in agreement with that you want to do. That you it's cool. May even save your ass. Okay. It's like God is you aligned with the star. You you gonna be you have W capital W. I don't know what it stands for, but it may be significant to you if it applies. She told me to give you the written word. And if you will, please go ahead and thumbs up the station. Thank you very much, Beatles. The Beatles. Yes. Yeah. So if you would like a more fuller um, forecast and or report, participate. Thumbs it up. Leave a comment. I really like to hear what you think about the um, lesson. I know it's necessary. We've all dealt with it. Or oh, if you haven't, we will. Oh, listen to this. Why do you expect me to repair what you have broken? Oh, those are my words. It's 
my written words. Why do you expect me to repair what you have broken? Maybe you're feeling that way, okay? Maybe somebody feeling that way about you. Underline the energy. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Did I say that? Let your request be made known to God, the Most High God. That's Philippians 4 and 6. I said that some of you getting what you asked for. I'm going to leave it here, Beatles. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Soul Station here with the spiritual feed and spirit advice for another one. And um, I can't wait to bring you your follow-up to them. Just make those healthy choices, baby. All right? And I'll see you mid-month. Hotel. One love.